Well, hey there, Howard Olson here. Listen, I want to share with you a quick story about the right way versus the wrong way to go about prospecting. And it starts this morning. So I come down to my office, it's Monday morning, and I open up my computer and start, you know, trying to get an idea of what my week's going to look like and start deleting off all the nonsense that got into my inbox over the course of the weekend, just like many of you would be doing, okay? So I, I'm deleting, deleting, and I come across one that came in earlier in the day. And it the subject line simply reads, confirming next week's meeting. So... I take a closer look at it, but on, on inspection, I realize I don't know the name of this person and I don't know the name of the URL of their email address either. So I know for sure there's no meeting going on here, but I'm curious. So I click and uh, so I, I read it and let me just read what the, what the subject matter says. So, hey, Howard, from the minute you registered for a trial at name, company name, I'll just leave their name out of it to protect their identity. You made the first step in making your prospecting process 100% better. Now that's a bold claim, okay? But secondly, I never signed up for a trial because I don't even know what this company is. If you confirm a time on my calendar for next week, I will prove to you in black and white how I can improve your productivity at least 10 to 20%. Another bold claim. So what do you say? Signed name. Now I wanna give him credit for a couple things. First of all, he got my attention, so I opened. And two, there's a pretty good call to action here. If you confirm a time on my calendar, I'll, sh I'll prove to you, you know, how you can increase your productivity. So, you know, you want to have a call to action in there. But the problem with this is, is that this email is just riddled with falsehoods. And that is no way you want to start a relationship. So let me, I, I responded to him. Let me read you my response. So I just wrote to him this. Dear name, you asked, what do I say? Well, here's what I say. As I read your subject line about confirming next week's meeting, I immediately started thinking to myself, I don't know you, I don't know your company, and I know for sure we don't have a meeting. I instantly distrust you. I and many others absolutely detest dishonest and deceptive marketing practices. I do, however, love and appreciate clever attention-getting methods that inspire curiosity, but violating the truth, well, that's just not gonna cut it. So no, name. I don't want an appointment next week. Find a more honest hook, value prop, or whatever else you want to call your attention getting headline. But lying to me just isn't going to work. Signed, Howard Olson. So here's the thing. When we're prospecting, the only thing you want to do is you want to rise above the noise and get someone's attention. Having gotten that attention, you want to begin the sales process where we start understanding what's going on so that we can actually convert that generated interest into a closed piece of business or a brand new customer. All right, so these are two separate and distinct activities. Prospecting is about generating interest. That's all you want to do. Generate interest, generate interest, get appointments so that you can begin the process. And then selling is about, you know, turning that interest into customers, into revenue, into business. So you don't want to start a brand new relationship <laughs> on the foundation of a falsehood, okay? That's just not a good place to be. And I might even go so far as to guess that he might've got some people clicking on his email. I might even got a couple of people booking appointments. But you know what? There's this seed of doubt and distrust already ladled into this thing. So, you know, that's all I wanna give you now. Think about, just think about how can you generate interest when you're when you're when you're reaching out and you're prospecting through your outreach methodologies and by the way i just want to say this really quickly too a lot of you call it cold calling and cold emailing listen the power of language you've just made this a frigid activity and this is why so many of you avoid it when i'm reaching out i call it a first introduction email or a first introduction uh telephone call these are first introductions it's a far more warm activity i mean the stuff that i'm doing is the same but I already put a, I just changed the whole psychology around that. So I just want you to think about that, okay? Stick to the truth because the truth that you know will in fact set you free. Stick around for our next, uh, for our next video tip where I get into, all right, how do we construct a great prospecting outreach message, either by phone or by email so that we can begin this process? That's it for me. Olson out. Stick to the truth.